Alright, that's most of this place cleared out. Oh, it happened again, guys. I forgot I was in a map in a map. I was like, what? I was like all disoriented for a second. Why are you at that? What? The abyss only moved. Oh my gosh, that abyss gave up so. F Wait, what? Oh, Jesus! This is the first time in this league I've gotten the depths. I was I thought it was the box and I was clicking on it to open the box and it was not the box. crumbling walls animation. Of course, I wouldn't be able to tell that I could go this way if it wasn't for the, the, the map because of the crumbling walls thing. I know, y'all got me thinking about it now. I'm wondering if I should take that multi-strike out and put, like, physical damage or something there and see how the skeletons do. Less AoE, more single target, and see what happens. Cool. Underground Sea unique map. Is that the exit? Man, I'm rusty. I'm, I'm remembering there was like portals. Maybe, maybe that's not. Uh, maybe that's like an improved version of the depths. I remember like portals around the room that I had to go through and then like kill a thing and then come back and there was like a boss in here but I, maybe that's like the, the improved version of the of where i'm at now and not this one uh, okay that's two maps in this map we're still not done with this map All right, here's the boss how's oh, this dodry Okay, easy. Waste pools complete. Got a reward from Nico. Oh, that was a pretty disappointing yellow chest. Keep it down. All right, hold on. Bags are full. I'm really curious about how that's uh, that change would do. Before we do that ultimatum, hello. Let me let me do some things here. All right, six socket, six socket, RGB. Get rid of that. Keep your life to your own. And then orange, orange, da, 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 da. okay, go to the stash. Put away the stuff that auto sorts. Thank God for auto sorting. That was such a nice. I'm so glad you guys in chat told me about that affinity thing. Oba's Trove. 
Monster damage area. Area becomes fatal after some time. It's only a second tier map. I might be able to handle it, but that certainly sounds intimidating. Uh, Lion Eyes Vision. Looks like a Roman armor. Socket of Gems supported by level 15 Pierce. Massive dex requirement. Plus armor, life, and 0.4% of physical attack damage leached as mana. Enemy projectiles pierce you. You pierce them and they pierce you. Okay. Uh, resist, resist, resist. That's a lot of resistances. I'm gonna put that in the maybe the maybe tab. It's one abyss socket. All right. Uh, put that in the abyss tab. And these can be sold. Okay. Let me go to town for a second. Uh, have you tried Neverwinter? Um, Neverwinter Nights, like, 20 years ago? Yes, and the Neverwinter MMO, also yes. Um, when it was in beta, like, before it was, uh, out to the full version of the game. Dude. So, okay, in Neverwinter you've got companions, and they, they are, they play a huge part of how you play. And when it came out of beta, because I had an account that was there, like, pre-launch, I got this companion, and so did everybody else. There was like a skeletal dog, and I thought it, it it looks really cool. And I was trying to transfer it to another character at one point, and I did something wrong, and I destroyed it. And so I was like, okay, and I opened a ticket with him. I was like, hey, I made this mistake. Could I get this item restored? And I'm thinking, you know, GW2 would restore that. World of Warcraft would restore that. They were like, no, we can't do that. And I was like, dude, it was just a misclick. It, I just, I, I misclicked, I accidentally destroyed it. You know, mo most MMOs will give you like two or three item restorations, no questions asked. Can I just get this fixed? I just want back what I already had. And they were like, no, we won't do that. And I was like, this is make or break for me. Like, if, if I can't get this back, I'm, I'm not going to play this anymore. And they were like, you know, we, we can't do that. And then that was when I quit the Neverwinter MMO. <laughs> I was like, are you serious? Okay. All right. Uh, actually, let's search support. That'd be, there we go. Uh, shield charge, General's Cry, Consecrated Path. Um, oh my god. All right, Ruthless. Every third attack so it does a Ruthless blow. They do 75% more melee damage. Ruthless blows as part of skills do 75% more damage with bleeding cause of melee hits. Uh, ruthless with Multi-Strike? Multi-Strike does three hits per hit. And Ruthless does every third hit as Ruthless. I wonder how good that would be. Uh, what are the other options? Knockback. Stun. Uh, ballista. Melee Splash. Maim. Shockwave. Rage. Cruelty. Hits from supported skills grant cruelty. Does it say what cruelty does? Cruelty makes all skills supported by cruelty support deal up to 50% more damage over time based on the amount of damage in the hit which grants it. Um, I wonder if cruelty stacks, because like if all of the skeletons could do it at once and just put a massive dot. Brutality. A supported skills do 40% more damage. No chaos, no elemental. Uh, melee physical. Where's melee physical? I'm not seeing that. Did I just go right past it? Oh, there it is. 30% more melee physical damage. 30% more damage to bleeding and poison. Brutality would be more than melee physical. Cruelty doesn't give dot, it improves dot that already exists. Does it? Typo. Hits from supported skills grant cruelty. Makes all skills supported by cruelty deal up to 50% more damage over time. Ah, got it. So it buff like bleeds or something. And this is every third hit does 75% more damage. 
bleeding and a stun? That's stun, though. That's really that's poorly poor interaction. Hold on, I want to look that up. I want to I want to I want to take a look at that. So ruthless. Um, when supported by multi strike, it will work differently. Oh ho! Instead of occurring every third hit, it occurs every third multi strike. That seems fair. This means from the first two uses will be normal blows, and all hits from the third strike will be ruthless blows. Using this idea, Ruthless Blow may actually trigger by skill use rather than skill attack, meaning you will have to use the attack skill three times to trigger Ruthless Blow. Uh, the Ruthless Blow counter still counts if you hit with a skill or not. For example, I'm not using Ruthless Blow. Tracking blows, you try Ruthless Blow, you're ready to fight against. Multiple attacks can be supported by Ruthless Support. Each attack tracks their own Ruthless Blows separately. Um, what about the dot, though? The... what is it? Supported skills do more damage with bleeding caused by melee hits. Wait, does Ruthless cause bleeding or just boost bleeding? Uh, ruthless blows with supported skills deal 75% more damage with bleeding. Okay, so I don't think it gives you bleed if you didn't already have bleed. But it would do the 75% more damage every third collection of hits. And it appears to have a stun? So 75% more damage a third of the time. Why don't... Okay, let's just squish that down. It'd be 25% more damage ac averaged across all hits. And then the stun. But the bleed... It, it, it's not going to give a bleed. So 20, it's 25% more and the slight stun. Um, can you stun lock a boss? Like, if I have so many skeletons with this hit beating on a boss, can they stun it? Stun. There's a chance to be stunned. A stun erupts the creature's doing a brief animation played. Uh, oh god, math. <laughs> no. Oh god. Stun versus bosses. They will become, such a saver, become immune to stuns while stunned, and for four seconds after stun. So, you can stun a boss, but then they're immune to the stun for four seconds. Okay. Uh, someone asked, will it work on skeletons? Yes, it has a green check mark next to skeletons. It will work on them. All right, I guess. Where does increase base duration of the stun from the default? We still have to hit hard enough to stun in the first place. Oh, really? I thought it was just would stun on every third hit. I thought it would just stun on every third hit. Man, why do you gotta know so much? You're, you're making it so sad. You're making everything so sad. Dang it! All right, fine, brutality. All right, so we were using Melee Splash, which is you do 41% less damage, but you're AoEing. Now we're using, we took off 41% less, and we're now at plus 40. So we went from fi doing 59%, the skeletons went from doing 59% damage to 140% damage. Uh, but they're not AoEing. We will see how this goes. Oh god, I've been in town so long. I hope I have my portal didn't close. Then I'm oh, thank ready goodness. And not before. You're right, Arrow. Listen, it is time. Alright. Okay. One, two, three, four, and. Uh, and. Uh, And that's going to be the Vol army, too. But again, no AoE. Just 
summon second ball army. Ruin surrounds you. Uh, now I my friggin' bone armor working for the first time tonight because I'm not doing the uh, being as dumb anymore. Choking vapors seek the living. Thing. Does it feel like the mo my guys are killing stuff faster? I think maybe. This is, of course, just the first test. Oh god, lasers. Who gave them lasers? I think it was like a searing totem. <sighs> oh, six socket, five link orange. I have found a lot of items this league that were six socket, five link orange. Thing like that, that's finding an orange with five links or an orange with six sockets. Just from my, me, from coming back to this game from earlier leagues, that just sounds insanely rare. And it just seems so common now. It just seems so common. Man, I, I know, like, obviously the gems that only do one thing are really good at that thing. Like, plus melee physical damage. Guess what? They're good at adding physical damage. But... Man, like... It, just part of me is like, no, that's boring. I, I want something that does more than that. And then it, you know, it ends up being incredible, and I'm just like, oh man, I wanted to, I wanted to be more creative than that. But this is just, just you, know, you know, apparently hitting really hard can be a good thing. Who knew? I wanted to be more creative than that, but it's just, it's just Hulk smash. Uh, can't put that away. 21% increased stun duration on enemies. 96 life. 96 life. Hold on a second. 4221. 4293. That's like 70 more hit points. And I have more uh, oh, less flask recovery, more stun recovery. I'm not really stunning enemies though. Yeah. Greetings. Go with courage. Okay. Uh, I got time for, I think, one more map, guys. And we're coming to near the end of our freaking 12-hour stream. Where's that new orange I got? Let's end this on a bang. Oba's Cursed Trove. Desecrated ground, more life, more damage. Area becomes fatal after a time. That's you getting stunned less? Hello? No, it, it had both, the Lorberry. It, it had um, increased duration of like enemy stuns, and it had you get stunned less, but I would lose uh, flask recovery rate, so I just decided to not keep it. At least I think that was what it was. All right. We had to restart the stream about two hours in, Bird. We were uh, having really bad frame drops, and luckily it seems to work. I've had zero drop frames since then. All right, what is this sucker? It's also possible I was wrong, but I think that's what I read. So I'm assuming I just need to zoom through this because of the uh, 
because of the area becomes fatal thing. Wait, what? What? Why? Okay, that was clearly the passage. Do I have to like kill every monster or something? When I'm ready and not before. Oh wow, you got a hundred percent of. I don't know if it makes me more nervous or less nervous that I can't see the timer before the area becomes fatal. But there is a there is stress. Proceed exile, seize what you can while you can. Strange that such a presumably key feature of this map doesn't have a timer. Thus, this whole thing's gonna kill you at some point. Win. Don't worry about it. Good luck. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of that's kind of where I'm at right now mentally. It honestly doesn't feel that bad not having the melee splash, and, you know, I, of course the damage versus uniques is much higher, because versus, like, one fat target, the skellies are basically doing almost triple. And we're still on five link. If I had six link, what, what do you think? Like, I used, uh, was it brutality? So I guess, um, just flat melee fizz damage for the six link, if I get a six one. Uh, is this trade league? Hey, Gruel, I am playing solo cell phone. Currently level 85. noticing that my AoE is reduced here, but it's, oh, it's like, I'm slower, but it's fine. I have a theory, whoever plays Soul Self, I must know what they were doing, hence helpful, don't be like me. Uh, I am happy to attempt to answer questions for you. I do not claim to know everything. Uh, I've actually, I've got over a thousand hours in this game, but a lot of them were from closer to when the game first came out. I'm kind of a returning player, um, but I do know the basics pretty well, and I'm happy to try to answer questions. And we've also got a few other people here in chat that have been answering questions for me that might know even more than I do right now. Did I clear this floor? Let's go check the door. No, I didn't. Aw, oh, crap. Ah, oh, stress! Oh, there. Friggin' one dude. Oh, wow. I mean, I knew it was a unique map, but dang.
Oh my god. I heard- hold up. I heard the explosion ticking and it froze me. And I literally went, one, no, 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 and my life went, boop, 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 boop. <laughs> like that box there almost killed me. I was just slamming the potions. Do I have a remove freeze? I do. I probably was just slamming the heal key instead of the remove freeze key. I'm a dummy. Okay. Please check your email when you can. I sent you something. You sent something to my email? Hang on. Uh, probably there's a few ultras good work to close your problem. Oh god, I have gotten freaking like 20 emails since uh intro sound. I hope you like it. Was this you? Cuz obviously obviously your name there is uh, on Twitch is different from your email. And a new patron. Uh what is it? Is this uh Diego? If Diego is here, thank you. I'm going to send them a thank you, a proper thank you after just in case. Yes. Okay. I I will check it after. I can't be playing a noise for the very first time on stream, just in case you're up to no good. But I will check it after, and I'll definitely get back to you. Up to no good in the neighborhood. Do the rare ones first, by the way. Oh, wait, hold on. Let me, uh... So I'm playing trade league level 92. I'm stuck. I'm not able to upgrade gear self. No idea how to, and I can't make chaos. Could you give me a segue? Okay, uh, so Cruel, I, I do, like I said, I don't know everything, I don't know every tip and trick, um, but as far as, like, getting better gear, like, do you have, do you know what you're going for? Like, you know, if you're looking for certain stats, you could start by, like, taking a base item, you know, using some essences on it, or using some chaos orbs to try to improve it, um, that kind of thing. Um, ha have you been farming all the different things you've got materials for? Like, if you've got heist, you know, have you to run the heist? If you've got Sulfite, have you been running the Delve? You know, anywhere that you could do some farming for to gather what, what you need. The chests, I've died once there before because the rare chest resurrected everything. Oh, wow. Gotcha. That, okay. I didn't even think about them resing stuff. I mean, alternatively, I could explode the bodies with a bunch of bone offerings, but that would, that would probably be more work. Okay. Jim Cutter's present. Alright. Cool wins. Sell that. 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 Warm nights. That. 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 Oh, this would be an upgrade from my current stone golem, but I've got to level it up 18 times. Have to oh man, I have to level it up 18 times. He's gonna kill a specter. I'm gonna put that in my second weapon set to start leveling. Alright, which Spectre just died? It was a silverback. Wait, what? Oh, I see the problem. There we go. Wait, my skitter box are dead too. Oh. When I weapon swap, does it kill the skitterbots? Of course it does. It's in the weapon. That, yeah, okay. Okay. That makes sense. Uh, Heist are great value. They can draw a crutch on a loot in currency. Yeah. Well, it does. You were Peely Pro. Check it out. Uh, for you not sure if links are allowed. Yes, links are allowed. Links are allowed. I, I have... So, just for the usuals that are here, I do have the allow links turned on in my chat. Um... I do like when people ask first as, a, as a, like a courtesy, but most of the time, if somebody posts some, something really bad, then I, I just I just nuke it. All right, so we've got all these percentages. Blank incinerate venom chain. I'm looking for anything that I'm using in case it's an upgrade. I don't see any venom. I think I got everything. I'm just double checking. 
Yeah, I guess so. I mean, I can I can grab some of the extra stuff just for some extra money since I'm already here. But hold on, I'm curious about something. It takes way too long. Okay, so my strategy of it just exploding all the corpses is out the window. As I can explode, what, like five or eight at a time? But there's so many bodies in here. Oh man. Hey, Mucka Chat. What's up, Nos now? I give you a short story for you guys on uh, just, just like my newbie thinking. I remember. There was a unique map. I don't remember what it was, but it was like a floor and then a floor and then a floor. It was like a tower, kind of, it felt like. It was like a square room, and waves and waves and waves and waves of stuff would come. And it was starting to lag, and I think there was like hundreds of bodies on the floor. And I remember I, I was playing like an archer, and I went to town, and I was like, I know how to handle this. And I bought a raised zombie gem and a spell totem gem. And I went back and I plopped that totem down, thinking it would just ch chain summon all the bodies into a zombie to, you know, one at a time, of course, to get rid of them and reduce the lag. That was my reasoning. That was my thought process. Now, of course, I was like dropping 20 enemies per second and raising one corpse per second, so it didn't work at all. It didn't help in the slightest. <laughs> I was like, man, this is this is not working out. Uh, just use a vault detonate, dead. I don't even know if there were vault gems back then, Dopey. Like, I'm talking, like, year one of this game. I don't know if they if there were vault gems yet. Uh, it was, it was just, that was my thought process at the time. Welcome. Uh, uh, nope. 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 Okay. Fate will find you. You have that map? Do I? Is that one of the unique maps I'm sitting on? I did Olmex, it's not that. So I guess it's Coward's Trial. I guess that's it. If that's what you're talking about. Okay, what was the, where was, you wanted me to see the Maven, right? Was this it? So I gotta do maps in this region. Let me see if Xana has any more that I haven't done yet. Oh, that's the wrong screen. Okay, got those. I'm just gonna check this real quick. So if I do, no, no. Dang it! When Such I'm a bother. Ready and not before. Uh, courtyard. Let's see, courtyard, spider forest, or fall pyramid. Is there a search box here? Here we go. Courtyard. What? Why is that lit up? Spider. I don't understand the search box either. You can search for the region. Oh, can I? What's the name of the region? Les Lex Proxima? Hey, there we go. That'll be the one for next time. Thank you. Much appreciated. Little quality of life tip there. I'm gonna ease my burdens in the future. All right, chat with that. Uh, let's see, you can click on the Maven to turn it orange, so if it doesn't glow when you put a map in, you'll know if she has interest in that map or not. Well, I was trying to figure out a way to do it from the stash and not this thing. Um, and so th this became, uh, it became easier now. All right. One more other than that. Well, I'm only going to do one at a time, Larry. I don't want to carry the spare, but yeah. Okay, guys, we are 12 hours in to our 12-hour stream. I have been streaming from 12 to 12. It is now midnight at my time, so I need to wrap things up and get some rest. Thank you guys for being here. Love doing this with you guys. I appreciate you guys, and I hope you enjoyed the show. Couple of plugs on the way out. If you happen to be new here, I am Muckluck. I stream every single day over 1,000 days in a row. Hit the follow button if you'd like to join us. I'm going to be back tomorrow. 
Here is my YouTube links. I've got two channels. The second one's got full playthroughs of all the games sort of by playlist. If you like watching it on Twitch, you probably like watching it there too. And uh, it's, it's sorted by games, so you can just see what you want to see. The first channel has got the edited content, guides for video games, guides for content creators, comedy, funny moments, stuff like that. And special thanks to the patrons. Mwah! Appreciate you guys. They literally help pay the bills. If you're interested in becoming one, it's cheaper than a Twitch sub. It helps more than a Twitch sub. And there is a link to that and you can earn a bunch of perks. And with that chat, I am going to get some sleep um, and find some, I'm gonna find someone to raid. I'm gonna put a smile on one more person's face. It is up to you if you wish to 